Hey guys, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a non-spoiler review on the new book called Slayer by Kristen White. Um, this is set in the Buffy universe. And if you don't know what that means, Buffy was a cult classic back in the 90s, early 2000s, which was an amazing show. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Mwah. Mm, perfect. I love the show, obviously. So, let's get back. So, if you don't know what Buffy's about, I'm just going to give you the summary. It's called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And it says that in each generation, one girl is choosing to be a slayer. She slays vampires, demons, werewolves, the whole supernatural shebang. This one girl, she gets more like supernatural powers to help her defeat these creatures and there's only can be one slayer per generation because once the slayer dies, she, a new potential slayer gets awoken. But the problem is our girl Buffy technically died twice and another slayer was awoken in her place. So then there was two slayers, but the one slayer died, not Buffy, and then another one was awoken. So it kind of threw things off balance for a while. So now there's lots of, if you watch the whole series, you know towards the end, there was a bunch of potential slayers that could be the next slayer. Anyway, let's get to the book review. So this is going to be a non-spoiler. I'm going to just be telling you what the book's about, my thoughts, and why you should read it, and my rating of the book. So let's get started in this video. So this book follows twin sisters, Nina and Armistead, and they are watchers. And if you don't know what a watcher is, a watcher is someone that watches over the chosen one, the slayer. Um, if you watch the ser if you watch the TV show, there was Giles and the original from the movie, which nobody really remembers. But did you know he had kids? Yes, he had twin daughters named Nina and Armistice. So this is where this book, so Nina's father was Buffy's first watcher. So that's how we get connected to Buffy. Anyway, these girls have been raised in the Watcher community, which is a boarding school for Watchers. They teach them research about demons, about the supernatural world with magic. But our story takes place where Buffy doing her Buffy thing to save the world cuts off magic from our world. So it's two months later, there's no magic. And this is just the aftermath of that. But turns out our girl Nina just got woken up as the Slayer. The last Slayer. She is the last chosen one. That is it. So, um, without giving too much away, there's twins um, who are connected to the Buffy universe. Um, Nina, very... She's like a lost little girl and she has all this ability now, but she was always been babied by her sister Armistice, who is kind of like the muscle. She's ruthless. She always protects her sister. So there's that and they're really opposite, but some they are they care for each other very deeply and it shows in the book. Um, let's see what else. So my thoughts on this book, my freaking this book was so good i gave it five out of five stars i fell in love i was really hesitant towards picking this book up because it was based on like in the buffy universe and as someone who loves buffy dearly i really hope they didn't like she didn't mess it up or something but no i really enjoyed it it was good it reminded me of buffy which was really fun there was buffy references if you're wondering so good um why you should read this one hello vampires yes please um it's it's kind of like there's a love interest yeah we can't have a YA book without some love and dove and if you know what I mean but this book was really interesting I loved it I can't wait for book two because this kind of leads off a cliffhanger which ooh, I can't wait for the next one um and fun fact the author, I tweeted her, and she tweeted back. I was acknowledged, guys. Your girl was acknowledged. Yeah. Anyway, so this was my non-spoiler review on Slayer, which came out January 8th. It's in stores now, so go pick it up. 
listen to the audiobook, go do something if you love Buffy, because after you read this book, you're going to go wa want to rewatch Buffy, and I'm debating if I should or not. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, City of Books. My book city is growing every single day. Until next time, I'm Jacqueline, and bye!